everybody in this video i want to talk about one of the keys uh to wealth transfer specifically um, if you're interested about concepts about wealth transfer, make sure you do me a quick favor, like this video, share this with somebody else. Uh, and so back in September, uh, one of the things that God shared with me, specific things about opening doors, that he gave me keys that would open doors uh, to this next season. And I believe one of these keys um, fits the door for wealth transfer. And we're going to just talk about place. Um, so in that list of four keys, there was a, a key called... Um, a priority there was a key called place there was a key called posture and there was a key called persistence and so i'm going to just share with you guys really quickly a testimony of just being in the right place or actually two quick testimonies where i saw you know what we would what would call a wealth transfer right and so um when i was 16 years old um you know my twin brother and i we had been been homeless for about six months and um, I, I believe this was through through the sovereignty of God. Um, you know, d during this six month period, we, we ended up staying with this uh, family from um, church. And um, this caused a seed to be planted um, where we actually start to just develop a relationship with God. And so, you know, during this six month period while we we're staying here, uh, you know, we had this thing at church called Vacation Bible School. school. I remember um, it was a it was a day in July where I gave my life to the Lord. I didn't I don't think I fully understood what what that meant at that time. But I, I, I felt the wooing witness of the Holy Spirit pulling and drawing me um, into God's presence. And so uh, with that being said, as I started to usher into this relationship with God and step into this relationship with God, one of the things that I would begin to pray about is like, God, if we have a relationship, now and we have a covenant now you know why are, why are we homeless you know why don't we have a place to live and so we would you know i would pray about this all the time i know you know my brother was probably probably praying about this and my great grandmother as well and so there was a specific situation where my great grandmother she you know went to live with her son which is my grandfather and uh he lived in these uh apartment buildings and you guys could go verify this if you wanted to uh off of uh 83rd and crenshaw drive in california and so um literally the back door uh to his particular apartment led to a back door of another entire apartment building so like you could literally step out of his his apartment walk down these stairs and then like walk into you know, walk up these next set of adjacent stairs that was completely uh, at a different uh, apartment building owned by somebody uh, else, right? So they were they were they were just separated by just like literally like three feet of of space, right? They were just side by side. And so one day, my you know grandfather, he's sick, right? He has he's has cancer at this point. He's wheelchair bound, so a lot of things he 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 can't uh, do. So my great grandmother, she was taking out the trash. And now this day that she happened to be taking out the trash, the um, gentleman who owned the apartment building, you know, next door was coming out, you know, down the steps of, of, of the apartment uh, building that he owned next door. And so like the exact unit that was adjacent from my grandfather's uh, unit to this apartment was vacant. And so, um, you know, my grandmother ended up great grandmother she ended up striking up a conversation uh with the owner she, not knowing that he was an owner right she uh, just jokingly started asking him questions like is that unit available um you know and uh the the owner of that apartment his response was yeah it's available and then she he asked her why did she why did she want it and she was like oh you know like my grandsons and i you know we just really need a place to stay we need somebody to to just you know bet on us uh we're just going through a, a tough time we just need a need a place to stay and so what this guy did you know he didn't even know my grandma's full name he didn't know her from from anybody else he literally handed her the keys to the apartment he told her how much it was and that she could pay him you know in a, in a month's time and that we can literally move in i remember my grandmother calling us she's like you're not gonna believe this and uh you know telling us you know we had keys to this place and so uh the concept of this whole video is is talking about place some of you guys right now you're watching you're waiting for god to show up 
in your situation. You're waiting for wealth transfer to hit your life. But one of the things about it is like the physical place that you're in um, is not the place that God wants you to be. You know, some of you guys, God has told you to go to a different city, but because you're in a relationship, you know, with somebody, you haven't separated yourself and gone to that place, right? Um, some of you right now, um, you, you haven't moved to the place that God wanted you to move to because you're so attached to the job that you currently have. And your disobedience in, in moving and being in the right place um, at the right time is, is what's causing the delay in the transfer, right? If my grandmother didn't, you know, listen to that, um, that, that internal voice of, you should take the trash out right now, right? How many times do we all have this impression that we should be doing something at a specific time and we don't do it, we don't listen or we delay, right? And if she had not walked out those stairs at that time, then I wouldn't be able to, you know, you know, witness to you guys about the power of being in the right place, being in the place at the right time. And, um, and just share my testimony. And so um, as also as it pertains to wealth transfer, um, one of the things that, that God has also mentioned is, is the posture of our heart, right? And so um, the place that I'm talking about doesn't always have to be a physical place. It could be a, a specific place in the spirit, right? Some of us, you know, God is calling you to elevate. God is calling you to go up higher. Um, he's calling you to come up to a specific vantage point where you can see things physically different, right? Some of you guys are looking at your circumstance um, at eye level, eye to eye level, when God is telling you that you need to, you know, rise above it, right? He's calling you to a place where you, you're, you're literally, your circumstances are under your feet. And the only reason why you're still um, in this place of, of lowness um, is because you refuse to listen and accept the invitation to come up higher to where God is. And so place is one of the most important pieces as it pertains to wealth transfer. So I just urge you guys, whatever place that you need to be in, if this is a spiritual place, if this is a physical place, then I, I prophesy right now that the Lord would begin to move you into that place. Father God, I just touch the person who is here, Lord. If there is something that's mitigating them, moving from the place that you've called them to be, Father God, we just just come against every attack that's trying to delay them from stepping into that true place, Father God. We move them now through the spirit realm into that place that you've called them to. And Father God, as they surrender to your will, um, and as they begin to move their feet right now, God, then you will meet them in that place. And so, Father God, we just thank you for this time. I prophesy that into their name, uh, prophesy that into their life, I'm sorry, in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. So for those of you guys who need to be moved to a place, um, have the faith that God is releasing the provision. He's releasing the necessary steps for you to be moved there um, in the physical realm as well as the spiritual realm. And for those of you guys who need to come up higher, whatever you have to do, whatever you have to sacrifice to come up higher with the Lord, I would encourage you to do that right now. Um, if that, with that being said, uh, like this video, share this video with somebody else. If you want to learn more about wealth transfer, there's going to be a link or a number that you can text the, the word wealth to, where you can be a part of our wealth transfer academy, where we're going to be teaching you guys Tuesday and Thursday every single week for the next full year about how you actually step into the wealth transfer. How do you let wealth transfer rest on your life? And so this is one of the keys to do that. So with that being said, God bless you guys. I pray that you guys have an awesome rest of your day. God bless. Bye-bye.